Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is a true honor to have you with us here in the People's House. And as the Speaker of the House, it is my pleasure to welcome you here as we honor one of America's greatest citizens and enduring heroes. Our, our capital, as you know, is filled with monuments to our history. They teach us about where we were and where we are and where we are going as a nation. And this, the statue of the oldest man in the capital is, is John Winthrop. He was an English Puritan lawyer and one of the leading founders of the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1630. He symbolizes how our country began, marked by the belief, as he said in his own words, that with God's help, we could be a shining city upon a hill for the people. Of course, making the reference from Scripture. Our newest statue is of a man who shared that same vision and who believed that same gospel, a man who looked back at where we were and who prayed and served endlessly for what we could become again, that shining city upon a hill. I want you to know that this, is a, uh, this truly is an historic moment. There are only four people in the history of our country who have received the three highest honors here. Those three honors are a congressional gold medal, having lied in state upon their passing, and having a, a statue here in the Capitol to be honored. Two of them were presidents, uh, Presidents Ford and Reagan, and one is Rosa Parks. And the other, as of today, will be Reverend Billy Graham. I've done a few of these ceremonial uh, events now. Uh, we've, we've had a couple of statues come in since I've been Speaker of the House. I don't ever get nervous for public speaking, but I am nervous today. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> because Billy Graham is such a towering figure in my life, and as he is in all of our lives, and, and such a singular figure, and the, the leading ambassador for the kingdom of our lifetimes, and, and it just means so much to us. But I want, you, I want you to know it's always a long journey to get a, a statue here in the Capitol, but we have a lot of thanks to give out today, many people who helped to bring this day about and make this possible. Billy Graham finally takes his rightful place on these hallowed grounds of American democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the colors by the United States Army Color Guard from the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, the performance of our national anthem by the United States Army Band Pershing Zone Brass Quintet, and the retiring of the colors. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glow bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the And the home of the brave. Cold, right shoulder, oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Dr. Barry C. Black, Chaplain of the United States Senate. Let us pray. Spirit of holiness, before whom none can stand in his or her own righteousness. Come into this statue dedication ceremony and dwell within our hearts. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to honor the life and legacy of your servant, the Reverend William Franklin Billy Graham Jr. by placing his statue in the United States Capitol building. We praise you for his life, which was like the light of morning at sunrise on a cloudless day, and like the brightness after rain that brings the grass from the earth. Lord, we celebrate his laudable example of blameless living, of obedience to your commands, and of telling your good news about salvation around the world. Inspired by his great and sacrificial life, may we emulate his commitments by refusing to deviate from integrity, living above reproach, and striving to transform dark yesterdays into bright tomorrows. In all of our tomorrows, Almighty oh God, keep our eyes from tears, our feet from stumbling, and our hearts from despair. We pray in the name of the one Dr. Billy Graham passionately loved and served, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen and amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mike Johnson, Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Well, uh, one of the good things about these ceremonies is we don't, um, we don't belabor the point. We're going to get right to the unveiling of the statue here at the beginning of the ceremony. I have the great privilege of doing that, but I'd like to invite some very important people to join me uh, for this exercise here, beginning with Governor Cooper, uh, the members of the North Carolina congressional delegation, the Graham family, and it's a big family, uh, Dr. Bruce, Mr. Fagan, and the Statuary Hall Committee, if you would all join me here, and we'll do this together. Thank you. 